When I was in fifth grade, I heard about this five-day novena to St. Therese where she would give you a rose or roses if she was going to answer your prayer. My parents told me at that time that they were thinking that I should share my room with my sister. And in a family of 10 kids, that might seem pretty normal. But a lot of siblings had moved on or moved out. So I prayed to St. Therese and at the end of five days, something extraordinary happened. My mother bought me new pajamas, and that was extraordinary. But in addition, there were purple roses on those pajamas. Shortly after that, my parents told me they had changed their mind and I could keep my own room. And I knew that St. Therese had heard my prayer. Well, many hours and years later of prayer, I find myself on the other side called not to shower roses like Therese, but to be an intercessor. Oftentimes, the form of that intercession takes place in embracing the suffering that God permits in my life, the small difficulties, the mishaps. Many times when I'm suffering, I ask him, who is this for? And he actually tells me. And it opens my heart to be more generous because I know he's never outdone in generosity. I know he's not only blessing others, but he's also blessing me through my prayer for them because he is giving me that one great desire of my heart to love as fully as I'm called to love.